Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When a customer overpays you or gives you a down payment or prepayment, you record the amount received in the Receive Payments window. Doing this creates a credit for the customer or customer job specified. Later on, after you have created an invoice for the specific customer or customer job, you can return to the Receive Payments window to apply the customer's existing credit. To apply an existing customer credit to an outstanding invoice in the Receive Payments window, first select the name of the customer or customer job who has the outstanding invoices and the credit that you want to apply. Select the invoice against which you wish to apply the credit from the listing shown. You should not attempt to place a check mark in front of the invoice as that indicates the invoice is being paid. Instead, click anywhere else within the invoice line other than the check mark column to select the desired invoice against which you wish to apply the selected customer credit. Next, click the Discounts and Credits button that appears in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window to open the Discount and Credits window. Select the Credits tab if necessary to view any available customer credits. To apply the entire credit shown, click the check mark column next to the credit in the available credits section to place a check mark into that column if needed. The amount shown to be applied will be displayed within the Amount to Use column. To apply a partial credit amount to the selected invoice, simply change the amount of credit applied by changing the amount shown in the Amount to Use column. After entering the amount of credit to apply, click the Done button to apply the credit amount to the selected invoice and return to the Receive Payments window. The credit amount applied will appear within the Discounts and Credits Applied section at the bottom of the window. You can then finish receiving customer payment as needed within the Receive Payments window. When finished, click either the Save and Close or Save and New buttons to save the transaction and either close the window or clear the window, leaving it open for additional entries. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.